okay YouTube uh, back again with another update so what I did I balanced these cells if you count one two three four five this is like a seven point something volt and this is seven point something volts you can see this cell was higher it was dropping down to seven point two nine so they're all dropping so what I did after this one, these five cells already have um, a clear setting for the same voltage and the same voltage. Then I decided to mash them down and do the same thing onto this one here. They're all connected. So I decided to interconnect. Just take the negative side is here. You can see the red side here is the positive. So all the uh, uh, tin plated copper plated they're all um, the positive ones and uh, this one's so uh, I'm taking this like a native so I'm just whatever but I use the copper bus bar copper bus bar negative side I took the negative now after they already have five cell they're all the same voltage they already have the batteries balanced to the same voltage and I think these ones are still on the high because this battery was over 8 something, this was 7. So they were sitting still about um, 7.68, something like that. So I decided to, after they all balanced, they've been staying all night. The video I posted a few hours ago, that just tells you um, that was yesterday's setup and I uploaded video today. And um, I don't want you guys to think maybe just within a short hour, everything is already balanced. So I left them all night. So what I did just now, before I'm going to launch this video, they're all balanced. Five cells from here all the way down here. They balance to the same voltage. From here all the way here, they balance to the same voltage. Even the center post, center tap post, they're all balanced on the same. If you go from here to here, supposed to read uh, three point something. 3 point something, 3 point something. So after they already get a equilibrium um, voltage, and uh, I tied the five batteries now in parallel. So five panel batteries, you see the positive here jump to the other side of the positive over there. And the negative from this other side comes to the other one here. Um, I don't want to use a longer wires because... Um, I just want to keep the voltage really short. If there is a way I would have jumped this thing from here to here with a bus bar, I would have done it without arcing the batteries at all. But there is no way I decided to fabricate, make these two gauge wires to as my jumpers. So I use the two gauge wires to jump from here to there. The negative from here, remember these cells if this one is was higher to something after all they already balanced and this one's all balanced to the same five so I'm gonna parallel them now so I decided not to stack them all because it would have been flipping the one old five like this over because five on the same pattern and five on the opposite five of these coming this way and five of the positive over there so that's why you can just put them all together because of I don't want to series them I want to parallel them so that's what I did so since the positives are all here the negatives are all here and they're all running on the same channel here this is gonna be like the front side and this guy is gonna be like the back side so I don't want to take all the batteries back and try to flip this entire thing so this one's facing this way uh, it's too much work uh, because I already compressed the batteries I already torqued them to the settings that is supposed to be torqued and it's really farmed so I don't want to take them anymore this is how it's gonna be and I took this interconnect and connect it over there take this interconnect and connect it here the positive to positive so right now it's transferring this uh, five cell which one is higher or this one which is higher to get them all equal so they can sit on the same voltage. So each cell that is lower, the five which lower is gonna transfer the uh, the one, the five cells which are higher to the other ones. They're all gonna be balanced and they're gonna sit on the same voltage because all the center tap and all the, this ones and all the other ones, they already tied into the same. 
now it becomes just like a seven it looks like a seven volt battery and um seven point something seven seven point something volts so which if i had um a eight volt or maybe a seven volt charger or whatever lithium charger for seven point something volts then i would have charged them the way they are right now so that they can just be one full charge battery but since they are not um equal to 12 volt at this moment so seven point something i don't have a charger for it if it's 12 volt then i can charge them now but just why i want to get them all equal to the seven point something volt and from there i can tie them now it's just going to be one tap from here just like this guy here from here to here and put the positive negative over there going to the inverter that makes it a 12 volt so it's easier so what does i'm do right now subscribe and share bye for now all right guys uh quick recap this is what you want to see on a balanced battery you remember these three batteries I, I tied together and i was using these wires look at the way i set it up for me to keep these batteries balanced as i was storing them these are the extra ones remaining i had pinned in here remember i mentioned that in the video and you guys seen i did some tests into this one and uh um, these are the ones I'm balancing right now. I just want to show you after doing that for so long This battery was just sitting down so that they can go off balance They can just be balanced for the time being they are stored and um, Let's check the voltage on these batteries and you see how a balanced battery is supposed to look like uh, in this case because um, The batteries are perfectly balanced and let's read the voltage here and you will see exactly what i'm talking about you will see for yourself so we have two batteries uh battery probes here and we're gonna place here and let me use probably my left hand so they can be better holding the camera and seeing the numbers as well and let's get this probe right there sitting the positive going there let's check the entire battery first it's a seven point eight seven volt and we move into the second one here seven point seven seven point eight seven volt a seven point eight seven volt so guys this is the thing uh, my hands are the hand kind of fluctuate that's why you see bouncing around well guys this is the thing you know um, I'm not saying I'm not against BMSs, but I'm just telling you it takes time So as the BMSs, this is how they work and they take time to balance all the batteries But uh, if I can balance them manually, I would do it this way And as long as you get them balanced and you charge them and they're gonna be fine. Let's try the center post and uh, 3.9 3.93 and uh 3.93 you see that and uh 3.93 and let's move to the other side here 3.93 which I think okay 93 is faltering because of the way I got this thing it's not center right but guys to just a perfect balanced battery look at that 3.9 3.87 and uh, sorry 7 point something 7.87 <laughs> and 7.87 so guys this is what a balanced battery is supposed to look like and guys this is the same thing i'm trying to do the same method or the same policy i'm going to be using here or strategy and uh and uh i know it has worked in the past and i know it's working and i just want to show you how everything is working here and um, these batteries have been sitting for quite a while 
and now they already balance and this will all balance um, this one's gonna be balanced soon in which we're gonna be doing a test some work tomorrow on this and trying to charge them stay tuned for that live from the command center JW solo USA live from Minnesota I love you guys all and have a nice weekend subscribe and share to the video bye for now